For everything Alien Romulus gets right, it's not quite perfect, and one surprise character has some fans actually angry. Major spoilers ahead. Judging by the early reviews, it's clear that director Fede Alvarez's Alien Romulus has proved to be worthy of its spot in the Alien movie saga. However, even with tension that's as tight as a facehugger's grip and the gut-churning horror that comes with it, there's one major plot point and surprise appearance of a legendary Alien cast member that will turn your stomach more than any xenomorph could. Upon sneaking aboard Remus to get the gear they need, Rain and crew come across Rook, a decimated Hyperdyne Systems 120A2 android that's fallen victim to whatever chaos erupted before our heroes arrived. Die-hard fans need only see the blue button-down uniform and white undershirt to know that this is the same model as the treacherous Ash, the android that tried to kill Ripley and return the cargo to the company in the original 1979 film. How do we kill it, Ash? There's gotta be a way of killing it. How? How do we do it? You can't. While understandable to a point, the inclusion of this particular model creates a minefield that Alvarez dares to tread through. And since the original actor Ian Holm died in 2020, it leads to yet another deepfake of a deceased actor. In this instance, it's not as bad as some might make it out to be, but it's not good either. Things get off to a promising start with Rook's introduction. Discovered face down in a familiar milky white fluid with exposed noodles from his torso, the crew lifts him up to reveal Ian Holm's unmistakable side profile steeped in shadow, confirming what model of android we're about to meet. That ultimately is as much as we should have seen of him. In a film that spends most of its time in darkness with only hazard lights lighting up cramped rooms or the glow of outer space filling up long corridors, there's no reason that Rook couldn't have been kept more out of sight. Not only would it have actually been more respectful of the late actor, but it would have sent the audience's stress levels up a notch and kept them there. As it was shot, it feels like fan service gone too far. It's especially distracting in a film that prides itself on another approach that could have helped here, practical effects. Relying wholly on animatronics would have provided the perfect range of motion for an older android that isn't exactly in the best shape. Well, that explains it, and the U2s always were a bit twitchy. Instead, the unfortunate result is that people are comparing it to Star Wars. Peter Cushing, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill were all Star Wars legends that got the CGI treatment in recent movies. And even though it could be argued that the technology has improved since they returned to the saga, the inclusion of George Reeves, Christopher Reeve, and Helen Slater as Superman and Supergirl in The Flash proved the code to properly using it still hadn't been cracked. The most frustrating thing about all of this, however, is that Romulus has all the tools required to perfect this not-so-magic trick Hollywood continues to try, but uses none of them the way it should. Instead of keeping the focus on Rook, Alien Romulus could have simply looked to what worked best in the previous Alien films — keep its audience in the dark as much as possible. On the other hand, a little more damage to the android could have solved the problem. Even after the likes of David, Ash, and Bishop have been torn apart, they're still a little bit functional. With that in mind, the Romulus android could have taken a bit more of a pounding to the point where Rook's face only partly resembled Holmes. It also could have permitted for even more modulation on Rook's voice to further disguise it. That wouldn't have been a stretch by any means. Bring back life form. Priority one. All other priorities rescinded. Ultimately, throwing the wrecked android into the film's mix really is a logical and essential story beat, but it's one that ultimately ends up feeling more hollow than it should.